All right, all right, everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are officially live. Thanks for being here with us right now. Don's finalizing a few things behind the scenes for you, and this is going to be absolutely incredible. Super pumped about this. My name is John S. Rhodes, and I work here with the very, very smart guys at Theotrade. Now, more importantly, I'm an average, ordinary kind of guy. I've just seen how well all of this works. The teachings, the trainings, videos, classes, trade ideas, indicators, scans, I've seen it all. I love the daily trading. I love the live chat room. And of course, the coaching sessions are the best. Now, speaking of coaching and profitable trading, and of course, brilliant teachers, this evening, Don Kaufman is going to be talking about how to profit from the next big short. So like I said, I'm really pumped about this, and I can feel the energy in the room. we got a lot of people here. I'm seeing a lot of energy behind the scenes in the Q&A. Go ahead if you haven't. Interact with us. Very excited about that. Now, before we get officially started, here's a quick risk disclosure because, of course, we're not financial advisors or broker dealers or any of that. We teach. We train. We educate. Okay, now the next thing is our copyright disclaimer. Let's keep this simple and really clear, okay? Listen, you're watching a Theotrade presentation, and this, of course, is ours. It's not yours, <laughs> okay? More importantly, though, we are real people. And you can see right there, our contact information is out there for anyone to see. It's right there in plain sight. So if you're looking for support, you can call 1-800-256-8876, uh, or you can reach out by email. Okay, that's that's great. If you do reach out by email, just remember that goes into a common inbox. Real people read these emails, and you will get an answer. Okay, so feel free to reach out at any time. Now, how about Don Kaufman? Let's talk about Don for a minute. Great guy. Really amazing. I spent a lot of time with this guy, really just, just a super guy. He's one of the co-founders of Theotrade, and he's an options trading genius. You may or may not know that, but that is what I think. That's what I feel. That's what the results say as well. Now, I don't say that lightly. He started out early in his career as a derivatives risk manager, so he knows risk. He knows how to keep things safe. He knows how to think about that. About two years into his career, he was invited into Thinkorswim. And he ran their education division uh, because, of course, he's smart and he loves teaching. He's a wonderful teacher. If you've never seen Don teach, you'll know exactly what I'm uh, talking about here tonight. Now, oh, oh yeah, so Think or Swim went public and then it was acquired by TD Ameritrade. So Don ended up running TD Ameritrade's institutional and retail education group. I mean, so he knows teaching training and education. Well, he took all of that experience and launched Theotrade. And I'm thrilled about that, and you should be too. <laughs> when you add it all up, Don's this smart guy who just loves trading and delivering results. And oh, let me let me prove that to you. Take a look at Don versus Mr. Wonderful himself. Now, that kind of media, that kind of exposure, the the spotlight, that's because he's so damn good. I mean, just plain and simple. Now, here's the thing at Theo Trade. Yeah, Don's one of the geniuses, but he's not the only one. It's not just Don. There's real bench strength here, really at every level. Uh, you know, and actually, in fact, well, I'm probably getting ahead of myself. Don, I believe that you're all set here. I'm looking behind the scenes. I think we're all set here. Uh, let me turn things over to you, Don, and uh, you can talk more about uh, Theotrade. Take it away. All right. Thanks a lot, John. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm, I'm ready to roll here tonight. So, yeah, let's start with that. Let's start a little bit about Theotrade. So, obviously, we specialize in education, stocks, options, futures. Uh, all of us here that uh, are founders and some of the trading and trading educators, we all have a minimum of 15 years of experience, a couple of us with a uh, few decades. Um, I'm officially two decades deep now. Uh, I'm starting to feel it too. And one of the things that we're going to talk about tonight is is talking about risk mitigation in the markets. But more importantly, and again, specifically this evening, we're going to be talking about a skill set that is really going to last you a lifetime. You know, one of the other things that uh, that John alluded to a moment ago that uh, I feel very, very strongly about. So here at Theotrade, we're not, it's not like, uh, I call it, it's not the Don Kaufman show. In fact, tonight, uh, to answer questions, we have on almost all our entire crew over here. So 
these are the instructors. So yeah, there's there's myself. We also have Jeff Bierman. Jeff actually worked with me at uh, TD Ameritrade. He also had a highly coveted position. Uh, he was the chief technician for TD Ameritrade. If you've ever been on the Thinkorswim charts, which uh, now there's you know several million traders have been on the Thinkorswim charts. Jeff actually helped uh, create most of the studies on there. Next up to bat, Matt Williamson. He is our market neutral and premium selling options strategist. For those of you, if you ever heard about premium selling, Matt is your man. Next, we have Corey Rosenblum. He's our senior strategist and swing trader. Talks a tremendous amount about uh, trend days. Um, again, cannot put enough like stock, if you will, into Corey Rosenblum, who's been with us now for uh, for about two years, spectacular. We move on to Brandon Chapman. Brandon also worked with me at uh, TD Ameritrade. In fact, Brandon and I wrote a course manual for the education division uh, at the time of TD Ameritrade. It was a course that we we put together that cost tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, Brandon and me actually constructed uh, the entire uh, course together. Uh, then we come to Steve Slim Miller. I actually met Slim when I was a kid. He's a 43 year veteran of the uh, options floor started actually in the early 1970s. Actually glad to, uh, to still have him with us. And last but not least, Tony Rago, NASDAQ futures and intraday strategist. For those of you that do trade futures on an intraday basis, we have got Tony for you. So I wanted to give a quick introduction because our bench right now is uh, is seven deep here at Theo Trade. With that, let's get into it. Everybody ready? Because uh, again, it's it's going to get deep. It's going to get deep very, very quickly this evening. So uh, again, get ready. Risk and success. You know, this is a slide that I'll often use a number of different presentations because it's it's the starting place for understanding this business, okay, as a whole. Everybody gets into the business, you know, they they tend to want like instant coffee and instant tea. You know, they want the magic wand. They want red and green flashing arrows. It's going to tell them exactly what the marketplace is doing. But eventually, you have to put up some risk to have a degree of success. So I always call this slide risk and success. And you're going to figure out really early on, and maybe some of you already have. Now, uh, again, you know, whether you're watching this live, whether you're watching this in a recording, people always ask, is it going to be recorded? Yes. Why? Because we speak very, very quickly. <laughs> and they always ask that question you know, that first of all, is it going to be recorded? But I want you to be able to answer stuff as we go along tonight. And we can keep this going back and forth. Even if you're watching this on a recording, you know, talk to your screen. It's all right. But if you've had any involvement in markets, how many of you guys have had involvement in markets? Okay. You'll probably kind of know what I'm talking about. How you handle your risk is directly correlated to your success in the markets. And please do chat in throughout the course of the evening. And again, if you're watching this in a recording, just yell at your screen. So how you handle risk is correlated to success in the markets. Too much risk, what do you do? You panic, you lose control, you get stopped out at the worst possible time. And I talk about that incessantly because right when you get stopped out, you can't take any more. What do you think this this little picture is? It's somebody you know puking up their positions or binary positions, if you will. And then, of course, you know, the market turns around right at that moment in time. Just out of curiosity, has, uh, has anybody been there before? Anyone? Anybody been there before? All right. Do we have anybody willing to, uh, to admit that? Huh? Any admission? Okay. All right. Just, just making sure. Because what we're about to, and, and by the way, I might be talking to some of you that were in December. You know, that was just this December of 2018. But what we're going to start with tonight is get ready. It's coming. We're about to embark and already have started this trend, okay? What could be one of the most pivotal periods in our market's history, okay? You know, talking about risk, prediction of risk, it's pretty easy. You know, risk is coming. Timing and the onset of that risk, okay, is, is impossible. Like, when, when's the risk coming? Well, that's impossible. So one of the things that we're going to talk about this evening is we need to twist, okay, the risk in our favor. And when I talk about like twisting risk in our favor, people look at risk as always being a negative. Well, tonight we're going to present a strategy where you can harness, okay, the potential afforded to us by the current market environment. And that is, again, we're going to discuss risk here momentarily to give you a little bit more background. But specifically, what I'm going to detail is little capital upfront 
you're going to go out, you're going to risk one to potentially make 10 plus. And I will show you a number of trades, precise trades that I have done that were executed, okay, that have exactly this risk profile. Well, I'm out there risking a dollar fifty, or there's another trade where I'm risking a dollar twenty to make, you know, ten dollars plus. Okay. In the next 45 minutes, you're going to see precisely the strategy. You're going to see all the plausible risks. And you can see how you can place these trades. In fact, I'll give you a trade example that I put together today. Why? Because today is a phenomenal time to discuss this trade. Couldn't be better timing, okay, for tonight. So let's get into it. All right, everybody ready? Okay, hang on here. The volatility, or what I call lack thereof. What's that even mean? Okay, volatility in the markets. Have you ever spent time just kind of looking at volatility in the markets and compared that to what you believed risk to be? You know, first, and some people have no idea what volatility even is. So I start with this and they're like, yeah, 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 yeah. volatility, volatility. You know, it's, it's such a buzzword, but people really know what volatility is and what it is and what does it measure. Volatility most notably measures risk of the marketplace. You know, Wall Street many, many years ago came up with the word volatility because it just sounds a little softer, a little more gentler than coming out and like, how much risk would you like to take in the market, madame? And they, they don't say that like, hey, what do you want your volatility exposure to be? Because nobody likes this, you know, evil world risk. Well, volatility is risk. Option markets can be thought of as putting a price tag on risk. Time out for a second. I said the O word, <gasps> option markets. All right, we're going to talk a little bit about options today. Is that all right with everybody? Now, I know that some of you coming this evening have never had experience in options. You don't even know what an option is, okay? You don't want an option from a stock from anything, a call from a put. That is okay. It's all right. Breathe deeply. Get big, big concepts. What does that mean, okay? Conceptually, I want you to understand what we're talking about, okay? Maybe you don't understand some of the nuances, the nuts and bolts behind it. We can get you there, okay? But options, options and option markets, Options put a price tag on future risks. That's what they actually do. They kind of handicap markets. Like, what's risk going to be 30 days from now? What's risk going to be a year from now? What's risk going to be, you know, you know, three days from now? That's what option markets do. Yeah, that's how they price options. They say, what do you think risk is going to be? Ultimately, option pricing comes down to supply and demand. So, you know, people always ask, like, what price is options? And inevitably, somebody says, inevitably, somebody says, it's the Black-Scholes model. <laughs> like, well... No, the Black Scholes model can help describe what the option price is, okay? And but, but really, what price is options? Supply and demand. Everybody demands options right now. What happens to the pricing? Goes up, okay? Goes up. And if nobody needs to buy options right now, what happens to pricing? Goes down. It is truly supply and demand. Now, yes, stock price has an input to it, and you know you get an input for maybe dividends, but in the end. This whole volatility talk comes down to supply and demand. Now, let's discuss it a little bit. Let's get you in tune with what we term implied volatility. Now, from, from my perspective, I'm going to be talking about implied volatility. What does that really mean? Okay, It's the option volatility. But there's actually there's two types of volatility. You have historical volatility and implied volatility. Historic volatility. You're going to love this. I love this definition. It's the annualized standard deviation of past stock price movement. <laughs> You're like, yeah, well, what does that mean? You go, you want fries with that? Um, it basically means if you're looking at a price chart, okay, it's how much we're actually moving, okay? Variance in the actual stock is historical volatility. What's implied volatility? Implied volatility has nothing to do with that. It has nothing to do with it. Implied volatility is all about the options market. Let me take you into implied volatility a little bit because now, now it's a party. This is a distribution curve, okay, with a stock trading at 100. We're going to say it has a 20% volatility. Now, I've been using the same example, okay, for a decade. And the reason is, you know, the VIX. A lot of people look at the VIX. How many people here have ever looked at the VIX before? Because there's some people that have never traded an option, but you tune, on, you know, you tune into like something like CNBC and you're like, oh, the VIX, the VIX, the VIX. What do you think the VIX actually measures? Okay. It's a volatility index, like you get that, but what does it actually measure? When the VIX, all right, when the VIX equals 20, 
what does it mean? <laughs> you know, that's when you get the, uh, you can call it deer in the headlights. I don't think of deer in the headlights. I think of the dog that heard a new noise. Burr. You, you just, that's where people, okay, kind of stand still. But let me give you exactly what this volatility kind of means. All right. Volatility. You can take the volatility of, of any option. You can take a volatility of option and you can extrapolate stock price movement. Now, Okay, we're only what? We're only a few minutes into this. We're a few minutes into this, and this is where everybody like starts to shut down. They're like, I'm getting nervous because he's talking about extrapolating stock price movement. Look, okay, volatility comes down to one thing, comes down to standard deviation. All right. So what this really okay implies is when you say you have a 20% volatility, it means the stock can move about 20%. 20% where? Higher or 20% lower. How long? Okay, that's always it's always standardized for one year. You're like, oh, that's great. That's just great, Don. Okay, but what is you know what does that even mean for me for for one year? Okay, it's one year of time. So when you look at the VIX, okay, and you know today the VIX is there's the VIX and the VIX is back down to the 15 range. What is the VIX really telling you? It's you know one of the important things. I want you to be able to take something away. Okay, from from tuning in tonight, take something away from tonight, right? Tonight, I want you to take something away and be able to make it applicable tomorrow. If you understand the VIX is at 15, you know what that really means? It means that the S&P 500, okay, over the next year is only poised to move up 15% or down 15%. Now think about that for a second because because is it right? It's right maybe for the risk today but you just saw in december in december and december alone in 2018 we had that kind of move in a 15 percent you know move how did it take oh a couple of days a couple of days here a couple of days there 15 percent move so how accurate okay is volatility there are a lot of things that you can learn from volatility by the way one other thing that i will i will throw out to you okay and and i think that this is in an important aspect is you know, you could take this volatility, right? And you don't necessarily have to extrapolate it out for one year. If you know the volatility, okay, for a year, couldn't you just divide that? You could divide it out. You could figure out how far the stock could move every month, how far the stock could move, for instance, in a week. You could figure out all of that. In fact, this evening, this evening, we actually, we, along with this, this webcast, we actually gave you a, uh, a bit of a scan for implied volatility. Now, I'm only going to kind of allude to it a little bit because we don't have a tremendous amount of time, but that scan, okay, and, and, and looking at volatility can help you find the types of positions that I'm going to be discussing this evening. We don't, um, we don't hide anything here at Theotrade. If we have like a, a proprietary study, we give it to everybody. If we have a proprietary scan, we give it to everybody, okay? If we know something, you know something. And that's, to me, it's it's absolutely of critical importance. So I wanted you to know that before we moved on, because we're going to be talking about volatility. As I asked that that question, you know, a slide ago, and I said, have you ever like spent time like looking at the VIX and you're like, okay, the VIX is at 15. What do you really think risk is? Okay. What do you really think risk is? By the way, we're supposed to stay in that about 68% of the time. That's, that's how often we're supposed to stay in that range. Everybody goes, where's the 68% come from? It's just one standard deviation. Don't panic about it. Now, let's let's move forward. Let's let's get something interesting here. This is what I call no fear or loathing on Wall Street. The thing that that is striking to me, okay? Look at the degree of complacency in the markets considering what I would term a myriad of what we term tail risks on the horizon. And it's, it's just remarkable. Like, what's going on this week and this week alone? Like, seriously, what's going on this week? You tell me, okay? Uh, we have Brexit, possible negotiations. You know, the government shutdown thing? Okay, that, might, that may, may be over. Let's, let's move all through the politics. Wait, you can't move through the politics because they are a myriad of some of the tail risks. You have Chinese markets slowing down. We actually have trade wars, okay? I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. Where's the VIX? Uh, 15. I mean, it's it's literally yawning at the risk. It stares at the risk in the face and laughs. Now, before we go any further, okay, I want you to think of this as, as again, as an opportunity. Now, the issues. We've got some issues. 
These issues, once again, are going to amount to risk. Risk, okay, is volatility. Volatility is the opportunity. So let's talk about a couple of issues. Is that fair enough? Okay, warning, we got some issues ahead. We have a horizon of risk. That's what I like to call this, the horizon of risk. Global growth is slowing. Newsflash, if you missed it, global growth is apparently slowing right now. Okay. By the way, I didn't come up with that one. The IMF came up with that one, the International Monetary Fund. Yes, they just said it. In fact, I'm going to show you here momentarily. The FOMC and central bankers' interest rate policy is wildly undecided. If, you, uh, if you've been a little bit asleep in the last okay, two weeks, monetary policy has taken a complete and utter 180 here in the United States. However, okay, if you look at other Okay, sovereignties, specifically China, they are actually doing what? They're not cleaning up quantitative easing. Okay, they're not tightening the balance sheet. They're not raising interest rates like we were here in the United States. What's China doing? Okay, China, they got the spigot open, full bore. They are pouring liquidity into their marketplace. Okay, that's why I say interest rate policy, it's completely undecided throughout the world. Right. If you look at the European Central Bank, do you realize that Europe right now is facing a recession? Of course, here in the United States, not necessarily so. But again, around us, there is global slowing. Okay, Central banks are buying of corporate debts. This is, again, this is the uh, ECB. They're still out there buying corporate debt. There's now $9 trillion of negatively yielding debt. By the way, if you know nothing about negatively yielding debt, that's where you give your money to somebody and you pay them to do so. It's an awesome idea. I should have thought of that years ago. So think about that for a second, because that's exactly what $9 trillion of negative yielding debt happens to be. If you put your money in a bank, you lose money in the bank because it's negatively yielding debt. Uh, the Chinese debt is at 317% of GDP. By the way, that's the best estimate that I can even get. It could be a lot higher than that because nobody really knows what's going on there. China's corporate default okay, hits record levels. By the way, that was announced last week. Uh, Chinese banking system grew at 1,000% over the last 10 years. US, U.S. corporate debt has expanded from $4.9 trillion in 2007 to $9.1 trillion halfway through 2018. There's Brexit, currency devaluations, and trade wars. Currency devaluations is interesting because the U.S. dollar has been on fire to the upside just in the last like two weeks. Why? Because there's global currency devaluations. Oh, trade wars to boot. Okay. These are also recent headlines. So I had to explain issues. By the way, when I say recent headlines, I had to find stuff that was recent. Okay. When I talk about recent, I mean like today, this is the IMF today. Okay. Gear up for possible economic storm. Yes. That sounds like a lot of fun. Um, the next one, this is actually a headline. I read this one uh, this weekend. Okay. It was uh, February 9th. China's economy, <laughs> you have to love this, reached new heights. New heights of what? Okay. The slowdown is being reported by the Chinese uh, media. It is the slowest growth in 30 years. Okay. And yet the, uh, the Chinese state-owned media is giving coverage completely all right, inverted to that. They're giving a 180 degree uh, version of it, but it is the slowest growth in 30 years. And then we talk about uh, loose money. And of course, this is this has to deal with uh, stock buybacks in the United States from February 4th. Those people are the issues. Now, here's the interesting part, because now I got to get to where the opportunity starts to emerge, right? You know what the issues are. People have been looking at this. It's almost hard to turn on the news right now. But here's the, the opportunistic area, okay? The suppression of risk. Now, the suppression of risk, aka the Fed, they're literally squashing risk. So central banks, okay, this is not argued. This is now, you know, known. Central banks produce volatility suppression, period, okay? So again, central banks produce volatility suppression. What does it mean? Thanks to central bankers, okay? Banks, proprietary trading firms, hedge funds, anywhere in the world can borrow capital with what? Record low interest rates, even with the Fed raising rates. We're still at historic lows. So the Fed raised rates, now they're paused, done. Doesn't matter. The capital is still dirt cheap. In fact, if you looked at the interest rate over the last few months, the interest rates have gone way back down. I'm specifically talking about the 10-year interest rate has actually gone down. We're all the way back down to like 2.6 after being up to like 3.2. The world financial systems are bursting with low-cost money, negative interest rate money. Okay. In many circumstances, negative interest rate policy is forcing lending, and that's, yeah, it's by design.
So what you get is trillions of dollars seeking returns. Okay. And the way to actually think about this, like a global financial system, it's, it's just flush with money. So what do they do? Okay. They pounce on any opportunity. Okay. In volatility, they pounce on it. So if you've looked at the VIX or you've looked at volatility over the last, okay, well, you know, many years, literally we point, point a finger from 2013 to right now, volatility has been just literally like a, like a, you know, wringing out a sponge because there's a glut of capital smashing volatility the market participants, they just throw caution to the wind in search of returns. That's a little bit about the suppression of risk. Now, to continue suppression of risk, to continue this thought of suppression of risk, did you know that governments are buying stocks? Now, some people are aware of this, some people are not. So I figured I'd throw it up here. The Swiss National Bank, okay, they actually print money in order to purchase uh, and you're going to love this, U.S. stocks, the Swiss National Bank. By the way, SNB stands for Swiss National Bank, owns $90 billion in U.S. stocks. That's of Q3 2018. And uh, just a, a guesstimate, $20 billion or so in European stocks. They don't have a formula, just so we're clear. They have no formula. In fact, they've even stated they, they're just trying to manage their currency by buying U.S. stocks. You have to love that. They have about $10,000 in U.S. stocks on their books for every man, woman, and child in Switzerland. That is awesome. Oh, and my personal favorite is the Swiss National Bank's largest holding is Apple with uh, currently 15.8 million shares. So apparently they really, really like Apple, probably more than the Chinese do right now. Uh, but on top of it, the Bank of Japan, this is the one I really like. The Bank of Japan owned about 80% of all shares okay, in Japan listed ETFs at the end of 2017. Why did I put 2017? Because the Bank of Japan is getting smart and they're not actually publishing nearly as many of the results uh, as they used to, okay? They are now targeting around 6 trillion yen, which is $53 billion annually to continue to buy. So they probably at this point own a lot more than 80% of all shares in Japan listed ETFs. They own it, okay? And they own basically their entire market, the most heavily weighted company in the Nikkei. Now, why do I throw that out there? Have you looked at the Nikkei? Japanese markets are falling with Bank of Japan support. I'm also going to remind you in terms of like volatility suppression, one of the things that really, really strikes me, okay, last year in United States markets, $1.1 trillion of buybacks were done in the United States, $1.1 trillion. And where did the S&Ps close last year? Down. They closed down with $1.1 trillion in buybacks, okay? That's even worse than the Japanese markets because the Japanese markets are being stabilized. As the market goes down, what does the Bank of Japan do? They buy, 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 buy. How's it working? Not so good. Can you believe at one point, okay, last year their markets are down in bear market territory and they're out there buying like there's no tomorrow. And that to me is, is shocking. It's alarming to say the least. But markets are still totally irrational on free money. So money pouring into the system, it's inadvertently, it suppresses volatility, okay? On a broader time frame, you really need to forget about charts and technicals in a big broad time frame okay and this this really kind of bothers people and i'm not trying to be uh, i'm not trying to be facetious i'm not trying to be an anti you know uh market technician charts though i mean come on the technicals they're meaningless fundamentals what's the stock worth okay you go what do you mean what's the stock worth well apple is worth you know i, I don't want to hear it because they're buying back their own stock okay and what are they doing they're borrowing money for next to nothing to buy back their own stock how does that work? And then the Swiss National Bank buys Apple as well. How does Swiss National Bank buy the Apple? They come around, eh, they come around and they print their own money. They literally add zeros, okay, convert the capital from Switzerland into US dollars and they buy it. How are their fundamentals behind that? Think about that for a second. Volatility readings are likely ambiguous at best. They're deceased. That's what I call them, deceased. All of that amounts to one thing. It's a huge opportunity. That's the part that I think so many people miss. If you suppress something long enough, what is going to happen, right? I want you to think about this because people are looking at this the wrong way. They look at this and they think, this is the, the world's coming apart at the seams. And I look at that and go, that is going to be awesome. Every trade right now is a crowded trade. If you've never heard that terminology, a crowded trade, everybody wants to be long Apple. Everybody wants to be long this. The Fed has got our back. The Fed loves us. Okay. You tell me, 
Why does this all equate to an opportunity? Because as I said, if you suppress something and hold it down long enough in the markets, eventually, okay, it's going to erupt. This has been done before. Like this, this isn't anything like new, all right? The same stuff was going on in 19, the most recent one that really got crazy. Forget about the global financial crisis, okay? We're not, let's not assume that we're going back into anything like that. But if you want to look at suppression of risk, you look back into like, you know, 1998 with the fall of long-term capital management, what happened there, okay? Everybody was looking the wrong direction. They're like, there's no volatility. There's no volatility. There's no volatility. And all of a sudden, boom, there was so much volatility, nobody knew what to do with it. And that's going to be the suppression of risk presents one of the biggest opportunities. It's in decades, okay? But you got to have skills moving forward, right? You can't be, you know... I, I like the monkey picture. I've always liked the monkey picture. I put the monkey picture up here because there used to be the monkey decks. That was a monkey. Back, back when I started my career, there was a monkey named Raven the Chimp, and Raven the Chimp used to outperform all the mutual fund managers. Boy, would it make the fund managers upset because everybody was benchmarking. It was in the Wall Street Journal, right? Everybody was benchmarking a chimp versus the mutual fund managers. And who won? Okay, who won? They go, oh, oh, it was the chimp, Raven. Raven beat them. Raven beat them all, okay? He beat them all, not everybody. I'm sure the Paul Tudor Jones outperformed the chimp, but I still, it's, it just reminds me because we get, we have been so complacent. Everybody is indexed. They just, they're all doing the same thing. Like, what can you do? Okay, every algorithm's out there. You should buy the spiders. That's what they say, all right? Moving forward, a trader must acquire a skill set. We're no longer in a market whereby monkeys throwing darts can be profitable, right? Advisors, mutual funds, indexing capital ETFs, okay, or a mix. People talk about like, as I get older, I must move into bonds. You do realize that in 2018, you had what? All asset classes were down. Dollar was getting beaten up. Gold was getting beaten up. Bonds were actually down. Although the 10-year creeped up at the end of the year and made like a half a percent. The S&Ps were down, okay? Everybody is suppressing the same exact trades. And I'm telling you, that's where we're going to look, okay? All of these advisors and mutual funds, and it's going to underperform the traders in the years to come. You're going to have to actually do something. You're, going to, you're not going to have to be a passive individual in this marketplace. And I hope that's okay with you because, again, I said this to begin with. Everybody wants instant coffee, instant tea. Here, you're going to have to work for it. But all of this amounts to risk is good, all right? And, of course, that's, that's taken from the line like, you know, greed is good. Well, in this case, risk is good. All of these issues, okay, you, you have to look at them for what they are. It's your opportunity. You need a strategy, though, whereby you're not going to substantiate inordinate risk, okay? You can't because you don't know how long this is going to go on because insanity can last a very long time. And they always say, like, the markets can remain irrational, okay, as long as the Fed remains solvent, which uh, could, be, uh, could be coming to an end. But we want to position ourselves, okay? And you want to position yourself for an onslaught of volatility. Let's put it bluntly. We want to buy volatility. Just put it bluntly, you want to buy volatility. We want to buy volatility with both hands. We want to buy volatility like it's going out of style. Buy volatility as we believe the future of the market risks are formidable. Even if you don't believe the risks are forthcoming, you still need to accept the relative dangers and mitigate your exposure accordingly. The risks are clear, okay? And we can see the opportunity. Yet how can we go about buying volatility? You tell me, how can you go about buying volatility? All right? The number one thing that everybody says, they go, I like this idea. This, this guy's making sense. You can go out and you can buy volatility ETFs. Can you? Can you really do that? It's common knowledge that we can buy volatility products in today's marketplace. They have volatility products. They got volatility futures. They got volatility ETFs. They got this, they got that, everything, okay? Sounds really good. However, volatility-based products, they're riddled with failure. Absolutely riddled with failure. Hmm, anybody? Here's volatility exchange traded funds, ETFs. Let's look at two prominent volatility ETFs. Let's start with the VXX, the VXX, and then we're gonna move on to the UVXY. All right, here it is. Here it is. The VXX over the past three years. The VXX, the VXX has lost over 91% of its value. 
We're like, what, 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 what? How's that even possible? 91% of its value in the last three years. The VXX has now been, okay? Oop, I apologize. It's supposed to be an EN there. It's now be discontinued, okay? And a new product has been created. Why? Because they kept reverse splitting it and reverse splitting it and reverse splitting it. And eventually there's no shares left. So they start with like, for example, 2 million shares. They reverse split it. Then there's only a million shares. Then they started reverse splitting it four for one. And then there's what? Okay, before you know it, there's 250,000 shares. And then there's like 2,000 shares left. So they canceled the product. They literally canceled the product. It stopped trading, okay, the end of January. And then they opened up the VXXB. <laughs> I, I've been in this business too long. I spent, again, 15 years in the brokerage world. And I've watched this time and again. Did you know that the UVXY has lost over 99.882% of its value? Again, it's hard to say. In the last three years, there it is, 99.82% of its value. And then they just come up with another product. They go, okay, everybody lost their money. Let's go, let's move on. You're like, oh, oh, thank you, ProShares. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Um, the most lawsuits I ever saw about any given product is right here. This is it, all right? If you bought one share, it would have cost 28,655 bucks. You know what that's worth today? Uh, almost nothing. Uh, that was the absolute low there at $35. But um, right now it's trading at about 47 bucks. So you went, you went from uh, 28,655, you have 48 bucks left. Okay. Hey, how you like that? Oh yeah, that's, that sounds really, really uh, not, not so good. By the way, there's, there's ETNs, ETFs, you name it. There's, there's like literally 15 different volatility products. Flushing your money, buying volatility ETFs or ETNs, okay, is a fast way to lose money, okay? You can't succeed buying volatility outright. Not only you can't you succeed, you will not succeed buying volatility outright. There isn't an easy way, okay, to just go out and be like, okay, I want to buy a volatility thingy, Mobobber. You can't just go out and buy the VIX because there is no underlying to the VIX. That's why they came up with the VXX and the VXXB. You need to be smarter than the competition. You need not flush the, what, proverbial money down the drain over here. I tried to be a little bit, uh, you know, well, that's pretty straightforward. It's a toilet bowl, and that's what people do when they go out and buy something like the VXX, right? And I know a lot of people have done it. But you got to position yourself and positioning your portfolio for a big move. So let's get down and dirty. How do you position yourself most effectively, okay, for the possibility of an extreme move, yet without exposing yourself to drastic risks? So don't get cute. It's very serious, okay? You got to listen. Like, there are lots of funds that are going after similar positions right now, and there's potentially billions up for grabs. Again, big firms are using similar positions. What am I about to show you? RTS, known as the Risk Twist Spread. You may actually hear me use that acronym, okay? The RTS, it's a Risk Twist Spread. You will employ a ratio, okay, type option spread to index and or equity product known as a Risk Twist Spread. The idea, pretty straightforward, it's easy. We want to achieve maximum reward for minimal upfront cost. Why is it so important that we not pay much for this strategy? Okay. Why is that so important? Like, and it's, it's not obvious because people are going to be like, well, because I don't want to lose a lot of money. No, minimal upfront cost. Why? Because I may have to do this strategy once, twice, three times, four times. You don't know, okay, when your friend risk is going to rear its ugly head. But when it does, you got to have this trade on because when you have it on, it is literally cracking a ball out of the park, but you don't know when the onset of that risk is coming. All you know, okay, is that you can just sit there and limit your exposure and maximize your potential. That's critical. That's, that's, you know, like the war cry of a risk twist spread. Limit your exposure, maximize your potential. I'm going to show you a risk graph now, okay? Let's actually get into the risk graph. This is the risk graph of what is termed the risk twist spread. Now, what is the risk graph? And I'm going to go through just a little bit of an explanation over here. Right now, here, today, this screenshot was taken today. Here is where, okay, the SPY is trading. 
This is an example on the spiders. This is where the spider is currently trading, right? The spider is trading somewhere around the 274 mark. If the spiders go up, okay, maybe to 280, if the spiders go to 290, it doesn't really matter. You see how minimal that risk happens to be, right? Here is, again, the zero barrier. Am I going to lose $1,000 if I'm wrong? No. Am I going to lose $200 if I'm wrong? No. Might I lose maybe 100 bucks if I'm wrong? Okay, that's reasonable, right? However, if the market okay, comes down, the RTS spread explodes in value. Now, how far can the market come down? And I'm going to tell you, the risk to a spread, it needs a move. The kind of move that we saw, for instance, back in November, obviously in December. But all the way back in December, we got all the way down here, here to 230 in the spiders. This is only one contract of a trade. You realize like one contract of a trade with about $100 of risk could have yielded as much as $2,000. In fact, it would have made more than $2,000 if you actually kept it on until the December time frame, which I did not do because I, I was out with a $1,000 profit, which I'll show you here momentarily. Why? Because that's what my criteria said. Get out and get out now. That's only one contract. Okay. Why am I only showing you one contract? Uh, because I think it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier to equate. I don't want to tell you like, oh yeah, people always, you know, they step in, they do some webinar like, so I was doing a thousand contracts. Listen, I, I traded in Chicago. I've traded plenty of thousand lots. I've traded millions of contracts of futures. Okay. I tell you, you got to start here. You got to start with one. I don't care how much money you have. You got to start with one because you can do it with one contract. You can do it with a hundred contracts, right? After that, it's just adding some numbers to it. This is critical that you understand this, okay? What could you use a risk graph like this for? Well, you could use this. Do you have right now a 401k? Do you realize that you could buy this risk twist spread and you could reduce risk of your 401k? Do you have an IRA? You could actually do this strategy inside of the IRA. Did you know you could actually do this in an IRA against the 401k? Because everybody goes, I can't touch my 401k. I totally get it. Again, I worked at a brokerage firm for 15 years, right? Ran all of education for TD Ameritrade. Like we get it. I know every in and out, every regulation surrounding 401ks. But you can't do this in an IRA. You can do it in a normal taxable account as well. Okay. That's what's important in here. This can be used to reduce risk of these portfolios. But some of you go, I don't have any risk to reduce. And I go, sweet. And what could you use it for? You could use it for a downside shot, a phenomenal shot, one of the biggest shots you've ever taken in your life kind of shot. I'm going to show you that. Here's some characteristics of a risk twist spread. First of all, this is the trade. This is the trade okay, that you just saw on the previous screen. Here, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. I'll come down to the trade here momentarily, but I want to give you the characteristics, right? When I say characteristics, like, hey, if you were to put on a risk twist spread, what can this trade, you know, what, you know, what's in it for me, All right? Well, it increases in value when exposed to heavy volatility, check. So if the market tanks, you're beautiful. You're buying volatility. Increased value when the markets sell off, check. Because if the market goes down, volatility goes up. Significant profit potential in a downside market move, check. Yeah, it's kind of saying the same thing three times. Loses minimal amount of capital if the markets rally, check. Because you know what? What? You know, maybe three out of four times we do go up. But when we go down, yeah, we're going to be there for you. Loses minimal capital if the markets continue to drift, sideways, check need only be placed a few times a year. Oh, that's important. How about this? Okay. I'm going to tell you right now, trade is only four times a year. It's only placed four times a year. You go like, yeah, what do I have to do? Put it on four times a year. Then what do I do? Uh, when the market tanks, pull it off. What happens if the market doesn't tank? You're going to lose about a hundred bucks. Okay. In fact, in this case, in fact, in this case, here's one today. This is $148 if you put this on today, right? But there's a lot to know. This is a perfect spread to reduce risk of a stock portfolio. That's what I was talking about a moment ago, your 401ks, okay, your IRAs. But it's also an excellent tool for those seeking large returns in a big market event. Big, what's, what's a big market event? I don't know. We just went through a couple. Do you think another one's coming? I don't know. And I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I do know, right? I, I like this. I like these trades. Why? Because it allows you to take that outside shot. It allows you to take like, we're coming. 
you know, the market's going to tank, but at the same time, doesn't have extraordinary risk. Now, this strategy, it's going to baffle a couple of you. There is a little degree of complexity to it. You can learn this stuff. And some people, again, they're like, oh, I've never traded an option before. Listen, I'm selling, okay? I'm selling one of 267 put, then I'm buying three of 257 put, and then I'm selling one of 255 put. It's a type of a ratio. And the ratio done, okay, in a perfect sequence with a perfect time frame. Time frame is expiration, okay? Sequence is which strikes do I select? This is a 267, 257, 255 right? These are puts. Do I do it with puts? Can I do it with calls? If I'm, if I'm bullish, can I do this to the upside? And you must pay the precise amount, okay? There are finite nuances that you must know in this trade. I don't want to get too detailed, right? Right here, right now, tactically speaking into like, all right, this is the one, this is the three, this is the one, okay? I can show you all of that. Does it take a little bit of time? Yes, it does take a little bit of time. But as I always say, you know, in building this strategy, building any strategy, it's not that instant coffee, instant tea. But at the same time, as I say that, don't let these options intimidate you. If you're new to options, and I want to want to backtrack for a second, because if you're new to options, please understand, you've never traded an option before in your life. Could you give me three to four hours of your life, okay, to go through the basics of options before learning the risk twist spread? If you're willing to do that, you can learn to do this, okay? The spread below is being done for a dollar forty-eight debit. Now, there's a margin in this spread. There is margin in this spread, but I, and, and again, for those of you that are more experienced, you know what the risks are in this trade. I can show you how to circumnavigate those risks, right? If you're selling, again, if you're selling, one of these, and then buying three of these. That's a $10 wide spread. You're like, I'm scared, hold me. Okay, I can show you how to reduce those risks, mitigate those risks, wipe away almost all of those risks. Okay, in this trade, I've never really lost more than what you had in the trade as the debit. Okay, because we're gonna show you how to get in this thing, we're gonna show you how to get out of this thing. You have to understand, okay, that a risk twist spread, this is, okay, this is an absolute, it's an 800 pound gorilla of a trade. And I love to use this analogy because this, the spread is like this huge chainsaw. If you wanted to cut down a big, massive tree, you could do it with a handsaw. It's going to take you forever, but you could probably do it. Maybe even break a few handsaws. But if you had a massive chainsaw, it's going to be what? It's going to be a lot quicker. It's probably even going to be safer. Okay. But if you don't know how to use a chainsaw, you are going to lop off an arm, a leg, a couple of fingers, probably kill yourself. Used correctly, this can be the quickest, the fastest, the safest way okay, to execute and create returns. Used incorrectly, a trade like this, and I am being very forthright, you're going to cut off a couple of fingers because I can't tell you how many times people try to duplicate this trade the moment they see it. okay, you got to get the nuances down. Nuances. What does that mean? It means criteria. Okay. Don't fear. And I call this fear not the risk twist spread. Again, maybe you don't have options experience, right? Maybe you just never really got involved in this. Give me a couple of hours. We can show you how and when to place the risk twist spreads in a matter of a few hours. What we do here at TheoTrade is create detailed recipes for every strategy that we get into, including risk twist spreads. You know, it's a baking of a cake. And I always say that about like trading. Trading is a baking of cake or Better yet, I you know did a minor in chemistry. Oh, that was exciting. You want fries with that? I did a minor in chemistry, and I always thought chemistry was pretty straightforward. All I had to do in the laboratory, they go, step one, do this. And I'm like, I can do that. They go, step two, if you don't do this right, you're going to blow the entire lab up. And I'm like, this sounds exciting, but I'm going to do it the right way. Same thing as like baking a cake. If you bake the cake a couple of times, okay, you could probably do it without a recipe. The first couple of times, you have to have that recipe. What we build here at TheoTrade is that recipe. You know, why do people trade without one? They basically just, people get into the markets and they're like, I'm going to do this. And I always say, do what? I'm going to do something. <laughs> what are you going to do? What's your game plan? Okay. I'm going to find a stock that's low and then I'm going to sell it when it's lower. And I'm like, oh, okay. You have to have a game plan. And that's, that's what criteria is. Would you like to learn, okay, how to buy risk twist spreads and how to control your risks the right way? Let us discuss criteria. As I said, we always say theo trade, okay, criteria. It's what we do.
Okay. Trading, you'll find out if you've been in this business long enough, you know this, but if you haven't, you're going to find this out. Trading, it's all about answering the what ifs. What if we go up? What if we go down? What if we go left? What if we go right? What if time moves forward? What might be a good stock or ETF candidate for a risk twist spread? Hmm, what is one? Okay. What's a good candidate for one? I don't know. Well, I just gave you the spiders. What's the correct options expiration? I just did May. Quite frankly, though, I like June better right now. June is good. A little bit more time. We're going to have to do it less often. How much capital do I commit? Literally, I will give you precise guidelines of what to pay for a risk twist spread. Okay. And I love this. How much capital do I commit to these twisted trades? There's a reason it's called a, a risk twist. I'm twisting the skew back in your favor. Skew. Oh, that's an exciting term. What strike price options do I sell and how many? What strike price options do I buy? We give you the answer to all those questions. Okay. We give you the right probability for the trade. We give you how to size the trade. What do you mean size the trade? Okay. Some people in here have a $2,000 account. Some people in here have a $2 million account. I'm going to have to go ahead and say, you're not going to approach the markets. How about if I gave you an entire spreadsheet that shows you precisely how to size depending upon the account size? When do I close my risk to a spread? So we'll give you that. But if the stock sells off big, what's the correct return for my strategy? We have all the answers. Okay. We'll answer those, all the trade related questions. We build recipes with definitive criteria, checklists, literally checklists. Okay. You wouldn't fly a plane without a checklist. The pilot sits there and he goes, check, check. Listen, I flew around the entire world 15 years and every single flight that I ever took. Okay. You see a pilot walking around. It could be 13 below in Chicago. And there's a pilot walking around, like pulling on the engines. I always enjoyed that one. Okay. I'm like, listen, if that guy pulls on the engine and anything happens, I am out of there. Okay. But you still have to do the same thing in the markets. Okay. You got to build a recipe. We're going to give you that recipe. You got to follow that criteria and it'll go through in each strategy, each unique variable you're going to encounter. And when I say that, when like, what's a unique variable? Okay. It's the how, it's the when, it's the why, it's at what price. It's just the beginning though of the variables you're going to face while buying a risk twist spread. The secret, it's always in the sauce. Now everybody, they, they hop on Google immediately and they start Googling risk twist spread. I can read about these strategies anywhere and I can do this. Okay. Listen, the following strategy and corresponding criteria, utmost attention to detail. We spent years, literally years, fine tuning this particular trade setup and criteria. And when we approach the section on criteria, you got to follow the steps to build a trade. Okay. Would you like the criteria to build a risk twist spread? Of course, everybody wants the criteria. I mean, that's again, the proof's in the pudding. Now, this is a risk twist spread in action. Okay. I'm telling you again and again throughout the course of this evening, I'm going to show you actual trades, right? Last year was a very good risk twist year. This year, I believe, is going to be a party of risk twists. Here's a risk twist spread. The execution of the strategy was on January 17th. I put it on. I paid a buck 37. Okay. Paid a buck 37. And here it is in all of its glory, right? It's a 273, 265, 263. It's a little different maybe than the one that we're showing tonight. Here's where I closed it. I opened it. I paid $137. If you did one unit, it's $137. I closed it for over a thousand dollars in profitability. That's the credit. The exact closing date. This is okay. What was it called? That was the volatility super fest. And look where we did. We hit that one out of the park. You realize if you did 10 contracts of this, 10 contracts, it's over $10,000 of profitability on what? Just to hit 10 contracts. How much risk would you have on that? Well, less than a thousand bucks. I mean, this thing is, it's huge. That's a risk twist that went off beautifully early 2018. But wait, there's more. We hit another one out of the park later in the year. You have to recognize you go out. You only have to place this strategy four times a year. Four times a year, you put $120 at risk. I actually closed two of them, okay? Wildly successful last year. You go, that's it, two trades. How many do you need, okay? If you're a hands-off kind of person and you're a long ball hitter, how many of these things do you need? I go out there, pay a buck 20 for it, 659 credit. Now, I could have held this trade longer. I'm gonna tell you right now, I could have held this trade longer and this trade would have made more money, okay? But you know what? My criteria told me I had to close it. I had to close it. And I closed it very, very early. I only held the trade for about a month. 
Okay. Why? Because the criteria told me to do so. This is the stuff I'm telling you, you need to have this tool in your pocket and on in this marketplace because it's going to pay you. Here is the next big short curriculum. That's what we actually call this class. The next big short learn to construct risk twist spreads, right? Well, obviously we can teach you to construct a risk twist spread, build your own, own risk twist spread with detailed step-by-step -step entry and exit criteria. We're going to teach you to either hedge your portfolio, okay, from turmoil, or we can actually try just to, and some people are like, I don't have a portfolio. Well, that's great. Well, then you could just go again for a large return, but we will teach people that have portfolios to hedge them. We're also going to talk about in the class reading market risk like you've never seen before. I'm going to give you insights, okay, that you've never seen before regarding volatility anywhere. The only thing that we see is risk. And you're going to learn how to profit, again, from what is going to be a continued onslaught of volatility. Okay, you're going to learn what volatility is, how you can profit from changes in market volatility, discover how to create trades based on market movement, all right, and movement in volatility, not purely direction of the market. And you're also going to learn why implied volatility is, okay, and what market instruments, okay, can take advantage and be really advantageous moving forward in changes in volatility. These trades, they can all be done in retirement accounts. In fact, the trades that I showed you a moment ago, they were done inside of my IRA. It's important. Now I trade in an IRA. I'm at the point of my career where I'm finally like, ah, I don't need to, you know, I don't need the income on a day-to-day -day basis. All right. I'm in my early forties. I've been involved in the business, you know, for over 20 years, I'm trading in my IRA. But even if you have minimal options experience, or if you're an account, smaller account, just looking for large upside potential, any of you can do this strategy. With that, I'm going to turn it over to John right now. John is going to tell you a little bit about, of course, our course, the next big short. Yeah, incredible stuff, Don. I really appreciate it. And what you've got here is four hours of training that could change your life. And you're going to have instant access to this. Now, to be perfectly blunt about this, I've seen trading courses, not even half this good, go for up to $24,000. And hey, I'm sure you've at least seen trainings going for like a thousand, three thousand, five thousand dollars. Here we're talking about just a hundred and ninety-seven dollars, but it's even better than that. You won't pay that, of course, unless you want to. <laughs> so let me explain this. First, of course, you've got Don on your side, teaching and training, uh, always amazing. And unlike other guys and other trainings that are out there, this training is available immediately. This isn't dripped out over weeks or over months, you don't have to wait, right? And you get the slide deck as well. So you can go backwards and forwards and look around exactly at that slide deck. And you get your checklist uh, for entries and exits and, and way, way more. Now, second of all, you've been there and done that. Listen, I, you know, look, like me, I, I bet you're a lot like me, you've seen some of those classes that I'm talking about, right? Where they've got the secret squirrel black boxes, the judo flips, and Lord knows what else. I'm sure you've seen them. I have. And it's never enough. There's the cross-selling, the upselling, and of course, but wait, there's more, except it's kind of sleazy and doesn't make you feel good. You need to take a shower. Theo Trade is sick and tired of this. No more garbage. No more waste, no fluff, and no more insane sales pitches. Instead, you get the profit recipes. Just like Don said earlier, we're disrupting financial education. I'm thrilled to announce Total Theo, unlimited streaming membership, a lot like the Netflix of trading, built by professionals, built by traders with at least 15 years of experience, right? Not fly by night, not the first rodeo, and with you in mind. And that means it's great for beginners, intermediate, that's fine, all the way up to professionals. Uh, educating you is the only goal. And Don's proven that to you tonight. He's proven it to me yet again. This is about you getting smarter. This is about you being faster, getting ahead of those other folks, right? This is about much better trades. And, you know, as Don said, in this market, more than ever, you've got to have the skills. You've got to have the skills. You're going to get killed in the markets. Now, with Total Theo Unlimited, here's the thing. You can get in for $99. $99 right now. I know that's pretty incredible. It includes, just to be clear here, it includes 
the next big short. The entire class, nothing held back, the full training, plus over 75 more trading classes, actually almost 80, maybe even over 80 at this point. I lost track. Yeah, we just added With a couple new, more. We literally just added more. a couple more. Yeah. yeah um, over 80. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, new and new classes are added all the time, right? And, and yeah, there's the live trading room, the broadcast, uh, six hours a day, 57 plus indicators. You got the Theo Trade mobile app, very exciting. Uh, if you're on the go like I am, this is great to have, right? Android, iOS, the instructors here to serve you, right? They're here for you to teach and train. Answering, very importantly, uh, you never trade alone, right? Answering your trading questions you just never trade alone it's uh, you know you're, you're not stuck there alone and and stressed out whatsoever you'll in fact here's another thing you'll celebrate your victories with those people who actually get it they get how you win and you want to head over to theotrade.com forward slash all theotrade.com forward slash all let us know that you can get over there or if you have any issues let us know right now i want to point something else out it's like we're giving you a hundred bucks and i want you to take the money. I really, truly want that for you. These guys, they've gone over the top. Of course, you could just grab, you know, the, the big short class itself for 197. Uh, I don't recommend that. Listen, take the hundred bucks, get in, get access. 99 gets you in today. And, and yes, 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 yes. Of course, that does include the big short class, the 80 or so uh, classes with more added all the time. And yes, that chat room, the daily live trading, of course, and the amazing archives, by the way, you've got to see the archives for yourself. Uh, the trade ideas emailed to you right into your inbox. I live and die in my inbox. I probably shouldn't, but I do. Uh, I've got my phone with me at all times. So if I'm on the, go, uh, on the go, I've got my smartphone. Wonderful to get the trades, the alerts. I just love all the updates. I'm always in touch with these guys. And I want you to just imagine in your own mind, in your own inbox, in your phone, the alerts that are coming in. And there's just way, way more. Again, this is like the Netflix of, of trading. It's exciting. It's fun, but way, way better because, you know, it's about making money. Again, theotrade.com forward slash all. Let's take a look at what some members are saying. Now, Don, you've seen this up close and personal for years. You've seen how this changes lives. I mean, the training tonight has changed lives. I've seen it here behind the scenes. It's amazing. Obviously, people are impressed, but it's changing lives. Uh, what about folks like David? I know that uh, David has a special place in your heart. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so so this is a comment back, obviously, from a member. And in this one, it holds a special like place in my heart because when we designed Theotrade, like, you know, we came out of the regulated brokerage firm world. I came out of TD Ameritrade. I talked to FINRA every single day. And... <clears throat> First of all, we're, we're now in an unregulated world. We can do what we want. We can actually teach what we want, how we want. But the most important thing to us is when we looked around at Theotrade, everybody was like bombarding, like you got to buy another indicator. You got to buy this. You got to buy that. You got to buy this. And it was, you know, before you knew it, it was $20,000 $20, of, of crap that people were buying. And I love this comment because it hit right upon what we're trying to do here at Theotrade. It's, it's really refreshing to have you guys putting this together okay, and sharing knowledge and not upselling everything and turning and burning your customer base. You got a customer for life in me because of this approach. And I'm sure I'm not the only one. And that's, it's one of the most important things that I try to, I think, emphasize is that this is the one-stop shop. Like if people need an indicator built for some trading application, we have that. If they need trade ideas, we have that. We have intraday strategists. I mean, you name it. We have every genre of trading covered for these clientele. Yeah, everyone eventually ends up at Theotrade because they get burned out by the other guys. It's unfortunate, but that's what happens, the shiny object. Uh, the people here at Theotrade are, are different, not just down, but the entire bench. They know trading, they know traders as well. They know the lifestyle, they know how to do it on the side, do it full time, and they're gonna be here for you. Now, what about RJ, 21% and a quarter. How about James, right? Fantastic service, right? Uh, white glove service, how about four thousand dollars in a week from Aubrey? And you know, look, this is this is about education. It turns education into money for ordinary people. Again, like you and I. That's why you know, I consider this the Netflix of trading and investing. It's that exciting. Oh, take a look at Dave there too, right? New members, always new twists and turns with things happening in the market. Look, Theo Trade is always one step ahead of the game.
everything's recorded, by the way. Everything is in the archive, easy to find. You can see it right there. Nothing's left out. It, it's not like you have to imagine. There's not, you know, if you're like super creative, nothing's left to the imagination. I absolutely love this. Oh, and Bill would back me up on this too. The, the archives are a godsend. They truly are. You've got the archives at any time. So you're getting those alerts. Think about that. You're getting the alerts. You can jump in in the real time stuff, but you also have the archives. You can go back at any time. RP says he enjoys the experience. I, I want you to think about that. He loves trading. He loves Theo trade. Let me ask you, let me ask you a question. Have you ever felt stress about trading? I mean, I sure have, but not nearly as much as I used to. Theo trade removes the pressure, lowers the stress, makes trading fun again. It really does. It's like waking up on your birthday every single day, knowing that these guys are available. Again, theotrade.com forward slash all. Take a look at everything you get here. Okay, take a look at everything that you get here. Of course, again, you can you can go for the big short class. You know, go ahead and do that. But um, you know, my money is on total Theo. The, the Netflix here, right? The unlimited streaming. Actually, I'm really super excited about a few more things, things about our time here and what Don's shared and what's in Theotrade. And we're gonna get to some common questions here in, uh, in just a minute. Uh, Don, I see that you're pulling up the members area, which is great. And I've got a couple of comments um, about the training tonight, but let's take a look first at everything that's inside. Speaking of the arc, speaking of the archives and, and what we've got available here, take it away. Yeah. So I, I figured, you know, I, I, while you were talking about this, I'm like, okay, I'll bring it up. So there's some people that are coming here tonight that are absolutely brand new. Okay. We have a start here menu just for you. Options 101, options 201, options 301. What we want you to know is, you know, as, as John was saying a moment ago, when we say it's like the Netflix of trading. You kind of feel like when you enter Netflix, you're like, I could never possibly watch all of this. That's okay. But we want to know that for the genre of trading that you're interested in, if it's options, we're going to get you started. Okay. If it's stocks, we're going to get you started and we're going to get you in the right direction. But you know, it's, it's not just about start here. Like here's some of the classes. The classes are actually broken down into specific, okay. You know, genres like option strategy classes, option newbie classes, technical analysis, if I came off as anti-chart, that's okay, because we have Jeff Bierman, we have Slim Miller, we have Corey Rosenblum, Tony Rago, okay? These guys are in to technical analysis, day trading classes, if you're a day trader, trend trading classes. I want everybody to remember that, yes, tonight's about the risk twist. You need the risk twist, okay, right now. But all of this is also, it's it's part of Theotrade. You know, one other thing, we barely even discussed, you know, the mobile, the portfolios. There's multiple portfolios in here for you to follow. People get in here like, ah, I don't know what to do. We have a duration portfolio for those of you that just want to, you know, be involved minimally. We have a small growth account portfolio, a sell premium portfolio, a fruit fly. I don't even know what that is. We have archives. All the archives are searchable. It goes on and on and on. Uh, again, the member chat room. What does a member chat room happen to be looking like? Okay. This is the chat room. We broadcast for six hours a day. And if you don't have time to be in there six hours a day, like we get it. It's archived. You don't have to watch six hours a day. But even if you're flying around in an airplane, we have a mobile okay, app where you can actually download onto your phone and watch it you know, on a device at you know, 30,000 feet. So we try to build it, again, very similarly to, to what Netflix has effectively built. So yeah, that's right. I mean, that's, that's, that's again, it's, it's not trying to be everything to everyone. What we are trying to do, though, is provide the one-stop shop okay, that people don't necessarily have to go and pay Twenty-five thousand dollars. You know, again, I, I, you know, built a class years ago. It was twenty-five thousand bucks. It was an eighteen-month program. It doesn't hold a candle to what we're doing at Theotrade. It's not even close. Anyway, go ahead, go ahead. I know there's a couple of questions coming in, and I was going to, uh, I was going to answer them um, as we go along. So, yeah, the first question. Yeah, great, great in, stuff. Yeah, great stuff. That's it. The first one that I see, okay. People always ask this and it's totally fine. Like $99, okay? Today is 99 bucks. What's it gonna cost in the future? It's 99 bucks. You've signed up for today for 99 bucks. That's not like an introductory price, okay? It's $99. It's a membership. You can cancel at any time, right? After one month, I, I get it. You can sign up for a month and you can go through and you can watch like 20 different classes. Be like, okay, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. You know, I just wanted to pay $99. We get it. We'll part ways. I'm telling you right now, we lose money if you sign up for a month and don't stay on any longer. But we find, okay, even the people that do that, they still come back because there's nothing in this entire industry 
that's even close to what we're doing right now at Theotrade. I'm telling you, there's nothing even close. It's been 15 years at TD Ameritrade. We knew everything that was going on in the industry. Nothing's close, okay, to what we're doing over here. So it's 99 bucks a month. You can cancel any time. The next one that just came in, somebody said, this risk twist spread. I'm not sure I can do it. I'm not sure I have that level of approval for options. We can help you get approval for options. We can help you, okay, dependent upon the brokerage firm. Now we have deals in place with a multitude of brokerage firms. We will even get you discounts, okay? TD Ameritrade, we can get you a discount there. You must be a member of Theotrade and we will give you the directions how to get a discount at TD Ameritrade. We can get you a discount at E-Trade, okay? We deal with a number of major broker dealers. Next one. Can you do this in an IRA? Yes, you can. In your retirement account, you can absolutely do this in an IRA. Um, next thing that, wow, these questions are pouring in over here, okay? I can't make certain classes that they all gonna be recorded. Every, every nuance is recorded, okay? Next question that just came in. Somebody said, do you have support if you're in Canada? We love you in Canada. Actually, we I always poke fun because I feel bad for uh, for Canadians because the brokerage firms are maybe not as good. We'll give you an idea for brokerage firms. We absolutely have support for Canadian clients. We have support for international clients. No matter where you are in the world, I will give you a suggestion of a different brokerage firm depending upon where you are. Okay. Um, we can also give you, somebody was saying, what was the easiest uh, platform to use? We can give you a link for that. If you want to open a TD Ameritrade account, Fantastic. If you want to open an E-Trade account, fantastic. We have a deal okay, with, uh, with Tastyworks. Great. I mean, again, how many education firms have deals in place with three major brokerage firms? None of them. Okay. Why do they have a deal with us? Because I was regulated by FINRA and the SEC for 15 years. We know the ins and outs of this business. Okay. Four people on our staff have held what they call Series 24s and have actually run portions of brokerage firms. And that's, again, that's kind of our background in here so um by the way if you're already you know if you get involved and you already have an account with td ameritrade we can still get you a discount as long as you are a member uh michelle had a question she said i can't get my head wrapped around options okay michelle i'm telling you just come into the start here you're gonna love this okay you do have to spend a little bit of time michelle but you're gonna have to come in here to start here we will walk you through this so all right i think i got i think i got the bulk of the questions out of the way. Make sure everybody knows it's theotrade.com forward slash all. It's just, it's 99 bucks and it's, I couldn't be easier than that. Uh, I, I, by the way, I kick off the chat room. People always ask this, like, do I broadcast on a day-to-day -day basis? I like to do at least an hour a day. A lot of days I do like 90 minutes a day in the chat room, but we have six other instructors. I mean, we literally stack, you know, instructor, 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 bell to bell, talking about live trading and so forth. If you can't make that, that's okay. Right. That's like, don't look at it as, you know, your ninety nine dollars is not going to waste. You can still tune in at night for 10 minutes and, and get a couple of trade ideas from that. If you want a risk twist spread tomorrow, you can either email me. If you want a risk twist spread the next day, OK, hop in chat room. We'll build one for you. And that's that's the kind of you know service we do. Um, we also, as I said, we email back and forth with you one to one. You know, don't feel like you're going to be left on a limb, you know, with um, with a couple of other thousand members. We have enough instructors and enough depth and knowledge to be able to email back and forth with you, even on your specific positions. So yeah. with that, John. Uh, yeah, incredible stuff. And in fact, you know, just looking at the, the big short class and the potential of turning every dollar into ten dollars, you know, that's what folks were here for. It's it's in there. It's already in there. If you need help in the here and now these guys will help you hands-on to build these trades and keep you on track. Theo trade, the training, but also the support, they keep you on track. And it's also interesting, right? You think about what's going on in the world, politics, government, the, the Fed, China, it goes on and on. You, you heard Donnie, he ran right through it, right? I see Theo trade as your own golden parachute, you know, your own golden safety net. It's really, really powerful. Uh, Theotrade.com forward slash all. And listen, you can't avoid volatility. You, you can't avoid the, the the chaos going on. The, the, the trick is placing a few of these trades and profiting from the chaos. Of course, with Theotrade's help, listen, you can profit also when things are calm and easy going. So if you need a trade for your situation, 
right? If you need a particular trade for your situation, that's what these guys are here for. That's what the training is here for, and that's what the real-time support is for as well. Listen, you, you never trade alone. We're here for you. And, and by the way, when you're in, feel free to let us know that that you're in and that you're safe and you know type in i'm in I, I love to congratulate people and behind the scenes you know we're going wild and crazy too i see the guys uh taking care of you big time so congratulations uh for those folks getting on on board um you know one of the things that i still see coming up don is uh, hey what if something happens live and i'm not able to get to it that, that's the archive right i mean i mean don that's the that's the beauty of Theotrade is, is the archive because not everyone can be there, you know, 24 7, 365. But Theotrade itself is there for you at all times. But the archive is great and access to the instructors as well. Yes, you get access to the instructors, you, you get access to these guys who have this experience. Think about your situation and what you need for your retirement. Come on up on retirement, maybe in retirement. You want to do this full time, you want to do it part time. These guys have you covered for your situation and Don I didn't realize that you I mean it makes sense now hearing it but all around the world all around the world doesn't really matter where you are Don's got you covered the team has you covered if you can't reach Don directly perfectly fine the team has you covered to again help you with your unique situation absolutely understand that so that's really really cool it's really awesome and uh, now listen I'll, I'll just tell you you can do this stuff your you know yourself you can hit Google you can do some searches you can find some of this stuff but you will not get the support you will not get the ongoing training it just isn't gonna happen okay that's just simply not going to happen so congratulations to Paul and Kent I see Kenneth here as well, uh, Hale, or maybe it's Hallie. So thank you. I appreciate you guys coming on. Congratulations. And yes, um, we're constantly showing. These guys know their stuff. They're constantly showing what works. They're constantly showing what's new, what's happening, and the impact on your portfolio, on your retirement, on that nest egg demonstrating and answering live. And it's like a community as well. Uh, I don't know. I, I, I've traded for years on and off. And until Theotrade, I was trading alone. I mean, it was kind of lonely. I was trying to talk to people in the neighborhood explaining what it was I was doing uh, with my trades, and I, no one understood the, the glazed eyes, the empty stares. Don, I'm sure you've, uh, you've seen that as well, but with Theotrade, you have that community. You have that support, you know, like, yeah. amen. <laughs> right? so it's nice to actually be part of a community, Don. What do you think about that? Yeah, one of the things that people, that people always say to me, they're like me, they're like, you know, it's a Sunday afternoon. So we, you know, answer tons of emails, even on the weekend. They're like, I can't believe this guy wrote back to me on like a Sunday afternoon. Listen, that's, this is what we do. You know, it's, it's, it's tough. Like people don't necessarily understand that. It's just like a job. I grew up around trading. I grew up around traders. It's what we do. So, you know, on an iPad on the weekend, I've got three little kids. doesn't matter. They're helping me answer emails. It's that's that's what we do. And we again, we answer emails ourselves. You know, it's not just, a, you know, all right, you know, an hour one and done kind of thing. Um, on average, I take, you know, 30, 40 emails a day. I know uh, JP is in there. JP actually answers general support questions, probably 200 emails a day. The other traders are doing, you know, 15, 20 emails a day at least. And it's. That's, um, you know, that's what we do. It's, it's not just about hopping in there. It's about supporting you guys because it ain't always easy. And there's a, you know, there's a learning curve in this business, but it's worth it. And that's what people have to understand. It's absolutely worth it, but you have to break through that learning curve. And that's what we're going to support you through. Yeah. And if you're a bit nervous, by the way, I remember being nervous before I asked my wife to marry me. I felt a little bit nervous, uh, but uh, look, that's also excitement, right? There's a little bit of fear, but mostly excitement about, you know, you finally found a home. You finally found a place where you're going to get the support. People are going to understand you. They're going to understand your situation. And, uh, you know, fear, fear not, right? Theotrade.com forward slash all. Uh, Don, I'm looking here to see if there are any more questions or comments, but man, this is looking, this is looking great. I, I'm so excited for the folks that are jumping in right now. Again, let us know. Uh, if you've jumped in, love to congratulate folks. And uh, look, so many people are making the very, very smart decision to join right now. So head over to theotrade.com forward slash all. Um, Don, I'm, I'm taking a look. Uh, I think we're in great shape to be wrapping up here. Any final words? Maybe I should ask, you know, what's the what's the number one reason, truly the number one reason to to jump in right now? Of course, there's access to the 
big short class, amazing stuff. But any final thoughts or any like you know n- like the number one, number one reason get in right now kind of so, deal. <laughs> so the biggest reason is is undoubtedly we're in a completely different marketplace than we have been in the previous ten years. People might not necessarily see it. The volatility is coming back, and you can't be passive. You're gonna have to be in terms of a trader. Like you're going to have to be a little bit more active. You're not going to be able to go out and buy stock and hope and pray anymore. The days of of buy and pray are are over. And now we're going to have to build skill sets in order to achieve returns in this marketplace. And I think that's that's the overwhelming theme of what we see, not only really in just 2018, but continually moving forward. And if you don't, you know, you don't listen to that. The central banks are telling you just that, okay? They're telling you they don't necessarily have your back anymore. And we're trying to come in and say, well, we do have your back. You're going to trade and, you know, this is the place to learn this. Yeah, I I, I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, There's a couple of questions that have come in here right at the end, not surprising. Uh, Do you have classes on when and how to close trades? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, every every class that we have, whether it's the wrist twist cl- uh, class or you know something like the in out spreads, it's opening and closing criteria. But we also have a number of of really detailed coaching sessions, okay, in closing trades. And the interesting irony is closing the trade is actually far more important than opening the trade because opening the trade anybody can do that. You can follow like the steps. It's closing the trade. That execution has to be done correctly, effectively. That's what actually differentiates all of us as traders. It's not the opening the trade because everybody can follow me into a trade. It's how and when you close it. And that's that's going to be the uh, one of the defining factors that we will work through uh, with each and every one of you. Don, what's what's traded exactly in the chat room? Can we re, can we be um, really specific about what's traded in the chat room? So in the chat room at a day to day basis, stocks, options and futures. I know that that's like pretty broad based. So I'll give you an idea here. So we have a futures trader that comes in there. It's Tony Rago. He's trading Nasdaq futures. Uh, Corey Rosenblum once in a while will trade E-mini S&P futures. Me, I will actually trade stocks and options. Jeff Bierman is predominantly stocks. Okay, and every single day you're getting ideas shot at you from different instructors from different genres or some people are like, you know what, I'm a little bit more passive. Okay, if you're into fundamentals, if you're into things like central bank and Fed policy, we actually have Brandon Chapman, okay, who's the closest thing that we could find to Ben Bernanke. and, and brought him in house because I've known Brandon. Brandon has forgotten more about central bank policy than most of us will ever know. Um, he just did a class actually this past weekend. Phenomenal. I mean, literally phenomenal. It's archived. It's it's ready to go. Um, and it was all about okay how central bank policy is going to influence your portfolio in the uh, in the near term and the far term, and how to actually circumnavigate some of those risks. So to be fair. Stocks, options, and futures, we do cover uh, cover the gamut here. Awesome. Incredible stuff. I'm taking a look. And like I said, I think we're, we're in great shape uh, between you showing folks behind the scenes, uh, answering questions. Thank you so much. And also the team, TheoTrade, uh, as usual, uh, comes through answering questions like crazy behind the scenes with the very, very specific answers here. So, yeah, Theo, and I'm seeing here, thanks, Cornelius. Thank you so much. TheoTrade is great. Thank you for the webinar. Yeah, thank you so much. That's exactly how I feel every day about TheoTrade. Head over now, uh, last chance here, theotrade.com forward slash all, and uh, get on in for 99 uh, per month. And look, uh, you get the big short class and everything else. So uh, Don, thank you, sir. Uh, Turning things over to you for final comments. Uh, I am going silent. Take care. Yeah. All right. So thanks everybody for joining us. If you have any questions, always, you can hit us at support at theotrade.com. You can hit us at the number. You can even leave a message. Uh, actually, we're live in here right now, so we can answer messages live. We'll be here for uh, for about the next uh, 40 minutes or so to be able to help answer a couple more questions. Again, hit us here at theotrade.com forward slash all. Thanks everybody for joining us this evening.